Yo, what's up guys? Also here with another trade of video. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys 3 very cheap and very profitable trade ups for you guys to make a lots of profits with. And one bonus one at the end, so make sure to check that one out. So if you like trade ups and would like to see more trade up videos like this, there are many of them in my channel with many more to come in the future, so subscribe. I upload almost daily in this channel, so if you're looking for some consistent trade of videos to make some profits with during the quarantine, this is the place for you. Also make sure to leave a like down below. It only takes a few seconds of your time and it makes a massive difference. So a few disclaimers before we start with the first trade up. First is that all of the prices I show in here will be steam market prices, but feel free to use third party sites as they will increase your profits even more. Second is that all of the profits or losses I show in here will be after Steam tax, so you don't have to compute for it. Lastly, the currency I will be using in this video will be in US dollars and euros. So with that out of the way, let's go to the first trade up. So for the first trade up, we will be doing a trade up where floats really won't matter. So this will be a non stat track mil spec revolver trade up of using 6 well worn revolver skins and 4 field tested phoenix skins. So for the revolver skins, you can only use the sod of Yorick and you can get them for 9 cents each. And for the field tested phoenix skins, you can use the Negev Terrain, the Tech 9 Sandstorm and the UMP Corporal and you can get them for 10 cents each. So the average float for this trade up must be less than 0 0.38. So floats really won't matter for this trade up, so just use whatever is the cheapest at the Steam community market at the time you'll be doing the trade up. So the total cost for this trade up will add up to 94 dollar cents or 86 euro cents. For the outcomes, you will have a 78% chance to profit. So the best outcome you can get in this trade up will be the USP Guardian and that will give you a 60 cents profit. Then the Negev Power Loader will give you a 27 cents profit and the rest of the outcomes will give you small profits. Then for the losses, the Mach 10 Heat and the SG Pulse will give you 10 cents loss and the FAMAS Sergeant will give you a 20 cents loss. But you will only get them 22% of the time so that is really nice. So the profit for this trade up will add up to 10.64%. By the way, for the new viewers, you can get the profit of your trade ups by multiplying the price of each outcome to its percentage, then adding them all up, then dividing it to the total cost of the trade up. So you will also get 10 cents on average each time you do this trade up, so that is really nice. So overall, this is a really nice and really safe trade up in where you will win most of the time, so that is really nice. So for the next trade up, we will be doing a riskier version of the previous trade up. So this will be a factory new M4A4 Evil Daimyo trade up. So we're going to use 6 field tested Falchion skins and 4 minimal wear Spectrum 1 skins. So for the Falchion skins, you can use the Bunsen Burner, the Nova Ranger, the UMP Riot, and the P90 Elite build and you can get them for 16 cents each. And for the Spectrum 1 skins, you can use the Sod of Sander the Jungle Slip Stream, the 5.7 Capillary, or the P250 Ripple, and you can get them for 9 cents each. So the average float for this trade up must be less than 0 0.1272. So to achieve this, I recommend using field tested Falchion skins with floats less than 0 0.17 and minimal wear Spectrum 1 skins with floats less than 0 0.09. So the total cost for this trade up will add up to $1.18 or €1.08. For the outcomes, the best thing you can get from this trade up will obviously be the M4A for Evil Daimyo since that will give you around 5 times your money. Then the MP9 Ruby Poison Dart will also give you a small profit. Then the rest of the outcomes will give you small losses of about 20 to 30 cents except for the UMP Scaffold which will be a 62 cents loss and also the Negev Loudmouth, which will give you an 86 cents loss. So the profit for this trade up will add up to 12.71% and you'll get 15 cents each time you do this trade up. So this will be a really nice trade up 
in where you can get more than 5 times your money. And also, the losses will not be very big most of the time. So that is really nice. So if you like the trade ups in here, make sure to check out my Discord server. In here, you can find new trade ups, new investment opportunities, giveaways, and a lot more. So make sure to check it out, link in the description. So for the third trade up, this will be a really nice trade up. So make sure to check this one out. So this will be a minimal wear revolver trade up of using 4 field tested revolver skins and 6 minimal wear breakout skins. So for the revolver skins, you can use the revolver crimson web and the sod of Yorick and you can get them for 13 cents each. And for the breakout skins, you can use the P2K ivory, the Negev Desert Strike, the UMP Labyrinth, and the MP7 Urban Hazard, and you can get them for 9 cents each. So the average float for this trade-up must be less than 0.15 to get all minimal wear outcomes. So to achieve this, I recommend using field tested inputs with floats less than 0.23 and minimal wear inputs with floats less than 0.11. So these floats should be really easy to get, so make sure to try this one out. So the total cost of this trade up will add up to $1.06 or 97 euro cents. For the outcomes, it will be a 50-50 chance to get a revolver or a breakout outcome. So just think of the revolver outcomes as a profit and the breakout outcomes as a loss. So the best outcome you can get from this trade up will be the Negev Power Loader and that will give you a $1.53 profit. Then. The SG Tiger Moth will give you a 90 cents profit, and the Tech 9 Avalanche and the 57 Retribution will give you both a 60 cents profit. Then, the rest of the revolver outcomes will give you a 40 cents profit, so that is really nice. Then, for the breakout skins, the P250 Supernova and the Nova Koi will give you a profit of 25 cents, and the rest of the outcomes will give you a loss of 60 cents. So the profit for this trade-up will be 18.87% and you will get 20 cents each time you do this trade-up. So overall, this trade-up has inputs which are really easy to get and it also has a really high profit margin. So make sure to check this one out. So for the last trade-up, I needed a good thumbnail for this video. So I decided to do a trade-up which is a little bit over $1. So this will be a minimal wear M4A for for Emperor trade-up of using 9 field-tested Prisma 1 skins and 1 minimal wear Gamma 1 skin. So for the Prisma 1 skins, you can use the XM Incinigator and the AUG Momentum and you can get them for $2.05 each. And for the Gamma 1 skins, you can use the SCAR-20 Bloodsport and the P2K Imperial Dragon, and you can get them for $2.59 each. So the average float for this trade-up must be less than 0.1875 to get all minimal wear outcomes. So to achieve this, I recommend using field-tested Prisma 1 skins with floats less than 0.2 and minimal wear Gamma skins with floats less than 0.09. So the total cost of this trade-up will add up to $21.25 or 19 euros and 47 cents. For the outcomes, you will have a 45% chance to get an M4A4 Emperor, which will give you a $30 profit. Then, you'll also have a 45% chance to get Trek and get the 57 Angry Mob, which will give you a $16 loss. Then, you will have a 5% chance to get an M4A1 Mecha Industries, which will lose you $7 and also a 5% chance to get a Glock Wasteland Rebel, which will lose you $14 each. So the profit for this trade-up will be 29.51%, and you will get $6.27 each time you do this trade-up. So this trade-up has a huge profit margin, so make sure to check this one out. So I have tried a similar trade-up to this before, and it seems like I just can't get the precious m 4 a for Emperor. So that is really sad. So anyway, that is all for today. So if you like the trade-ups in here, make sure to check out my $1 to a knife series in where I try to get a knife from $1. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to check out my Discord server, link in the description. 
Also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe since that helps out my channel a lot. Anyways, this is Alsu and peace out.